Hi Aries, welcome to your mid-March 2020 general tarot update. It's Serena here. I can't believe I'm saying mid-March because it's like March just began and now we're talking almost about the middle of it. Come on. It's unbelievable. Okay. The heart of the matter is the Knight of Cups, which is an offer of love. What I, you know, I, I, uh, <laughs> I noticed this in the past position, new love. And um, also the Ace of Cups can be pregnancy, impending birth of a new child. So a woman who is hoping that this person will ask her to marry him. I know that sounds old fashioned or something like that, but that sense of, you know, she's pregnant and she's hoping that he doesn't see their relationship as just two people that are going to have a child together, that there's going to be a relationship that way. Uh, the Knight of Cups, in general, though, can be somebody coming into your life that really, I think, softens you. Aries is, you know, no sign is a monolith. No sign is going to have just certain characteristics that are um, across the board, even though there are templates, because every sign represents certain qualities. So when I talk about these things, I do tend to use those templates and I, and I get lectured from people. Oh, that's not true. You know, you have to go deeper than that. And, and that, oh, 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 because that, those are fighting words because, um, you can't go deeper in this type of, um, reading because you're dealing with so many people. But that person who said, wrote, wrote that is absolutely 100% correct. I mean, that's what, that's what a natal chart does. That's what a private reading is for. Um, and so there are certain characteristics of Aries, and one of them is being abrasive. One of them is being insensitive. And when I'm saying that is that Aries isn't coming from a position that the Knight of Cups is. And so this person can have a calming effect on you can have an heart opening, heart chakra opening effect on you. Aries is loving, so maybe that's not the, the perfect term. It's not that you're not loving, it's this person is very sensitive and I think they can help you understand this. And the same thing if you're having a child, a child can help a parent understand, a person understand um, how our hearts can feel like very vulnerable um, and easy to crush with a person who is um, not aware and who is kind of like saying things or doing things that feel, you know, just emotionally threatening to another person. So we have two cards here that suggest this gentle, loving energy coming into your life. And I think it has an effect on you that is transformational. Um, this can even be like a job offer, the Knight of Cups, that is coming from a place of healing. So even the type of work that it is, if you have been studying energy healing, or even if it's in the more mainstream version, nursing, 
that could that could possibly be but um, I would certainly also say something artistic that is uh, there and the higher message is the Queen of Swords so I was pretty struck by this card like what is going on with Aries or what does the spiritual message say well it's like don't get carried away um, you may feel very excited about some opportunity or some person but you have to be very discerning and your emotions can't have to take a back seat here because there may be things going on that suggests that that um, adjustments need to be made you know that you that you really have to like think if you have a decision to make for instance that you have to really look at your options you can't just act as though um, this is a perfect opportunity there may this may be like for instance let's say that there's a person who has come into your life who reminds you of the Knight of Cups this person may even be like a water sign um, which is Cancer Pisces or Scorpio well traditionally these signs you know the water signs will not be particularly compatible with fire signs it, that's just how it is because the, the elements that each represents are very different. That doesn't mean that some people have not made it work or that you couldn't make it work, but it's something that has to be really looked at and not just going on emotions or some kind of romantic adventure, but really thinking clearly about it. Um, and maybe this person has been going very quickly and that's another reason I was thinking that you're going quickly maybe the other person is going quickly and wanting and they're professing their love for you they're love bombing you and the Queen of Swords the spiritual message is saying hold up wait you know what crosses you is the Queen of Wands and typically what I would say with this card is that this would be a facet of you being an, a fire sign the this card is connected to Sagittarius um, so if that other person happens to be Sag and that would make sense about going very quickly but there's um there may be like um, a female supervisor who is in the, the new potential workplace and is overbearing and who maybe the job is perfect but you would have to be dealing with this person every day this might be the person that interviews you and you can observe her qualities hysterical over-the-top qualities <laughs> Does that sound like Aries sometimes? Cer certainly fire energy, but the kind of the negative traits, the, you know, uh, the drama queen traits. If this is an aspect of you, then, like I said earlier, you're going to have to uh, calm down your uh, tendencies to be overbearing, to be insensitive, um, too self-absorbed, too like concerned about your own thing because the Knight of Cups is somebody who is very, I don't want to say fragile because you can be sensitive without being fragile but this person will feel like turned off to that type of um, behavior or misbehavior that this person believes that you're worthy of love but they're not going to put up with nonsense um, because 
well, hopefully they're not going to put up with nonsense because um, they see all of the good qualities within you. And, um, but there's something else I wanted to say, and I'm trying to think of what I was... Well, I, I think that you, if you are with this type of person, you're going to have to alter your typical behavior. You're going to have to, like, talk less and listen more and react less and be still more um, so that you can tune into what this person's all about. And perhaps it's typical for you to take charge of the situation, but you don't necessarily want to do that um, because you, you want there in a relationship, if this is a, a personal relationship, you want the other person to feel like they are part of the relationship, that, you know, that you're not the one dictating everything. And it will be a challenge for you because you just naturally, um, you know, take control of situations, but it will be a great practice for you to, you know, for humility, for um, meditative mind and things like that. What's coming in is Knight of Pentacles. This bodes well for employment and just kind of like nose to the grindstone kind of thing. This is, you know, it's interesting that I got two knights. So um, this is a youthful energy. And I think knights represent the element of fire. Um, so the passion is here for the work that you're doing as well as the the love situation depending on what this reading represents to you um, and it reminds me of the spring it reminds me of when everything is um, in a youthful stage or even the early summer um, this is great for just getting into the, you know, routine of work, um, but feeling productive. And if this is another person, this person is somebody that you can count on. So it's not just romantic. It really feels like something that could be permanent. And the outcome is a six of pentacles. You see the scales. An energy exchange that is uh, reciprocal, you know, meaning that both, you know, give and take. Uh oh, that's like blurry. Come on, come on, you know how to focus. Yeah, so that may be something that you have been missing for a long time, um, Aries, a relationship where you feel like you're being nourished. By the other person and you're doing the same for them and that can feel really good because perhaps you have a history of giving everything and not getting much in return if this is a work situation you are financially compensated for everything so that's awesome too okay that's what i have for you i hope that you enjoyed this if you'd like a personal reading the link is below. My website is rainamoonastrology.com. Take care. Bye.